All right, we are at the Brooklyn Park Goodwill bins. This is our second stop for the day. It is around two o'clock, so some people hopefully are cleared out, but it also is a Sunday, which obviously more people are off work on Sundays, and it is hot. I'm a little sweaty. I definitely got sweaty digging through the last bin, so I'm, I'm thinking it's gonna happen again, but let's go in. We got 40 pounds here yesterday, so let's see what we can find today at the Brooklyn Park Goodwill outlet. There's one random clothes bin, and there's a bunch of um, purses around this bin. J. Crew size six. Those are actually really cute pants. Hmm, I wonder if people come and sort over here and they throw back what they don't want. Good American, good legs. I've never found good American, to be honest, but we'll see about that one. Cut 25, it's a dress, sequiny dress. Cut 25, it looks pretty small too. American Eagle. It's actually pretty quiet in here. Architect Women 3X. This is cute. What is this? Oh, this is um Laura Ashley. Oh, these are cute too. Banana Republic size 4 tropical pants. I'm just scooping everything up. Modern canvas. Okay, we have some bags over here. This kind of looks like Target. Oh, here's a marble marble boro. Excuse me. I think those go for like 20. I think I found one at my bins before. It does okay. Nothing uber exciting. American Eagle Messenger Bag. I might open that up. Let's throw the first batch in. Rosetti. Possibly a Vera Bradley. Oh, I could use this as my bins digging glove. Dig in style. Oh my gosh, this looks very interesting. Did someone make it? It's definitely like substantial. Oh, that's crap. 
asking, whatever it is. Ready rig. It's missing its little whatever it's supposed to be connected. Greek fisherman's cap. Wool. Made in Greece. genuine leather. Hmm. This belt is cool. It's very tiny. Top green saddle leather. Size 24. Make it that. Put that in the maybe. Maybe pile. any just like reusable totes we're just using those to like store stuff and keep it organized so I need to grab some of those if I come across any Sonoma handmade it's kind of cute I didn't get that They are taking bins off the floor. Deborah, New York, made in USA. Oh, it's this one. Let me open that one up. This is my baby, baby pile up here. What was this one? Dayton's medium. Union made straw hat. The sack the zipper is completely ripped off. Genuine bonded leather medium. Putting out some new clothing bins. This Claiborne. What is this? Is this a peanut? It is a school bus. Okay, let's go look at the next one. Yeah, they're putting out new bins, and literally, there's only like three people waiting. Definitely a quiet day at this one, anyway. I think this one might be Duluth Trading Company. Maybe. Let's see if I can find the other one. Double check. Ooh, that's a nice surround. Wow, look at that beauty. It looks like it's someone's throwback, but if I can find the other one, that would be great. Lucky. I'm not getting lucky, but my sister is. But I don't think she would want those. Here's the same one. Oh yeah, they are do the loop trading. Okay, let's get those. Let's look for the black one. Sometimes you can tell the quality of an item just by like touching it. 
I don't have to look at the brand to know if it's terrible. Gap. Is it like Steve Madden? Madden girl. Alright, where is this black boot? The other one back here. So, okay. I found the brown version. I'm looking for the black one. Oh, a Chanel. What is it? Calvin Klein. Is this the other one? Oh, I see. This one's missing its little button. Or is this the other one? Yes. Mm, I'll double check and see how much we're going for. And if it missing the button is fine, then I might just get it anyway. House Black Market. They went traipsing through the dirt. Let's see. I might. They do just need a little wipe off. And they should be fine. Midway? What is this? around what do you put in there oh is it for food If I see the other one, I'll make my way back over. Alright, more shoes, more shoes. Made in Italy. Hmm, maybe. Oh, here's the other one. It's weird how dead it is in here. I think also because it is Mother's Day weekend, and I think people are possibly celebrating with their moms. But I am down for a nice quiet bins day. Ooh, this is fun. It's like beaded. Why are you on here? Sachi, S A C 
Find good things. Okay, I'm gonna go put this in the uh, cart. I think I might wheel it. There's some more um, shoe bins. What is this one? Looks like she's looking for a Steve Madden. I'm going to go over and park over here. I saw it in the, oh, I put the cart right there too. I'll look if I see it. Picolino. There's some, there's definitely a decent amount of wear on those. Ooh, what's this? This looks like Brighton. It is Brighton. A very strange Brighton. Soho. That feels Also for that shoe she couldn't find. Dean Paris. And if I see that other Sorel. Earth. 
Kenneth Cole. It's actually really cute. Where's the other one? This is Reaction Kenneth Cole, which is a lesser. They take me a little longer to sell. Lauren Ralph Lauren. Mm -hmm. This one is not feel the best. At least I feel like I got the bins to myself. It's like completely quiet, quiet in here. Born. I wonder if my sister would want these. Let's see if I can find the other one. Other Sorel. Granted, I could probably look harder. I didn't find. What is this? Me too. I didn't find this other flat either. Those are cute. Okay, I'm gonna go put these in my cart and then. They have one row of hard goods, so I'm gonna go down that, and then I'm gonna start digging around in some clothes. So, we got a pair of fries, though, and a little Brighton bag in that first dig through those bins, so not bad. Alright, I'll be back. fun for my boots, but it is kind of heavy. A lot of board games. That's pretty much what this <coughs> bin is. Just complete board games. And a random apron. Cottage by the Cliff, Courier and Ives. Looks like someone's stocking up on all the adult diapers. There's like two cartfuls. This looks kind of cool. I don't know how it works. Oh, is this a magnifying glass? Oh, it is. And then I assume maybe the stuff moves. Oh. Capital, scenery, landmark, person, fun facts, fun facts, two. Okay, so is there. So you have to switch it out. So 
how do you do that? It's like a little desk. I'm wondering if the little other parts are underneath this one. Oh, this is super interesting. sneezed and now I'm a little nipply. bunch of Lego pieces. Ooh. Oh geez, he has both his ears and both his horns. His one, oh his hoof is chipped. And his one ear is chipped. But that is pretty cool. like a repair was done on one of his ears too. Very cool. Cake and frosty mix cookbook. not worth much but they are fun I'm not going to get it because I would have to trek it home but if I was at home I would get it just to keep okay I'm gonna go find some clothes and dig around in those I will probably do a little recording of it but I'll probably just do some off camera since it's not the most exciting thing in the world but I'll be back with the things looks like a Dorothy Wizard of Oz costume okay I'll be back okay I already did a quick look at these ones Duluth Trading Company I might get that 2x something over here smells like cat pee and it's making me upset. Okay, I don't think I went through this side. So let's take a little look. 
see if we can find anything. They already started pulling bins off the floor for the night. They close in three hours. J. Crew size small. Kind of like a grandpa cardigan. I might get that. They close in three hours, but they already started pulling the bins off the floor, which they do pull them like super early here. But it's still pretty darn quiet. Avalanche. I mean, there's people here, but it's definitely not crazy. Like most Goodwill bins experiences. It is a Sunday too. I don't know if that has it. My bins on a Sunday are crazy. But maybe it's different here. Maybe people take advantage of their Sundays and just take the day off. Dunner. Oh my gosh, look at that Batman. Kirkland. My glove is going strong. It's getting discolored. <laughs> but it's going strong. We have a massive, like, Batman mold. I don't know what he holds. Sea Sono. What is this? mystery. I'm kind of just looking for bright type of patterns. There's just way too many clothes to go through. So I'm just shoving them around, seeing what I find. Fantastic Voyage. A little Hawaiian dress. Brothers. Made in USA of imported fabrics and it is a it's cashmere wool. And it is what size say you mm, 44. I'll look up vintage Brooks Brothers sports coat. See if maybe my sister wants it. This is very good. Fashion standards. It's in a different language. Made in Turkey. Old Navy. starting to take out some of the clothes. Christopher Banks. Who's this? It's a heavy wool coat made in China. London Square. St. John's Bay. some fun material. It is Cranston Printworks. I might look at that. Coleman pants, like a cargo insulated pant for the camping, I would assume. Briggs, New York. Alfred Dunner, oh, that's still folding. Lee. Okay, a 
let me go drop these off. There's like one row of clothing bins I haven't went through yet, so I might do that. Otherwise, I will be back with an overview. I'll be back. Right, we are at location number two. And they close in like two hours, but it is like dead in here. There is like literally two or three people. It's really strange. It's like once they start pulling the bins, they're just like, everyone just leaves. So it's very odd, but we still filled our cart. We found quite a bit of stuff. All of the bins on the outside, there's supposed to be bins here and all the way down the side are already cleared off the floor. And then bins along the wall are also cleared away. So here's what we found for today. I have this studded Deborah New York made in USA wool cowboy hat very extra blingy and crazy. Next we have a ski do BRP designed in Canada medium winter jacket. It looks to be in really good shape. It just needs a lint rolling on the collar. But other than that, even the fur is in good shape, which is surprising. Um, I do need to look this up. It is Jack Jackpot New York. It's like a wrap, really fun, bright skirt. So, oh, I think it might be ripped. Yeah, I think it might be ripped, but we'll see about that. Okay, next, I don't really pick up a lot of towel bits, but this jacket was super nice. It's a red, white, and blue, and then it's Talbots Plus 2X. I don't know, I just really like the look of this, so decided to give that a go. Next, we have a pair of BDG corduroy pants, mom high rise size 26, and it's like a greenish yellow color. It looks like it kind of blends in with the wall on camera, but it's a fun color. Next we have a t-shirt, a Mighty Mouse t-shirt, not vintage, but size extra large, good um, size. There was nothing in the um, bins that have hard goods. I did look. And I think I did it on camera, but there just was not much. Next we have a mustard gold Zara size medium, I think men's shirt. Looks like this was at Turnstyle originally for 14 maybe? Next we have a Brooks Brothers vintage double button sport jacket. And this is in size 44. So we go up to bot. Whoops. Whoopsie poopsie. Next, a Duluth Trading Company 2X. Really fun printed barbecue. It's like flamingos, barbecue. I don't know. Oh, ketchup. I thought it was bottles. Uh, shirt, also in good condition. Next, we have a vintage belt leather. It is top grain saddle leather artist creation. Oh, I wonder if they hand painted all of these. But it is a size 24. So a printed tiny belt. Next we have a vintage Columbia messenger bag in good shape and it's like a metallic -y purple. And it's not uber dirty which is surprising because a lot of these are. Next we have a Patagonia Organic Cotton Men's Large Pearl Snap um, plaid button shirt. It looks like it's in really good shape actually. Next a pair of, I'm pretty sure vintage Jordans size large sweatpants. They're like that heavy knit sweatpant and it has Jordan there and then on the back. We have that in like a red and blue. 
Next we have an MTV. This isn't vintage, it's just made to look vintage, but it does look like it's still selling well. Um, funky 90s vibe windbreaker, and this is size large. Next. Next we have a Eddie Bauer vintage, I think this is vintage USA, small. Oh, I forget what this style is called. But it's a one button collar in a green and blue. Okie dokie. Next, I don't know this. It says, don't talk to strangers, safety education, Steve Rhodes. And then it says, Steve Rhodes authentic, Steve Rhodes wear. So, not really sure. I've never picked this up before. It just looked interesting. And this is a size XL. Oh, I don't know. Surprises, I guess. Next, we have a texture and thread by Madewell Extra Small Summer Dress in a navy, maybe, and white. Lightweight. Next, we have a skirt by Maeve, medium, made in USA. Also really good condition, colorful, kind of like an eye cat print. So we got that. Next we have a Zara. Ooh, this feels nice. I really like the collar too. And it's a medium, kind of doily lace collar with a tie. Okay, next we have a pair of silver jeans, Suki Silver, Super Stretch 29 by 23, so it's like a capri, with some distressing, and a blingy butt. Okay, I'm gonna try to do all the clothes. Next, a Victoria's Secret bra, also in good condition. This is size 40 double D. It has like a metallic-y strap. All right, what other clothes do we have down here? We have a pair of Banana Republic slacks, size four, and a fun tropical print, super flowy. Definitely vacay pants. Next, I think this is vintage. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Vintage Laura Ashley. Size US 10. And it's a very, very cute Laura Ashley. I love the print. Excited about that one. And next we have a pair of Good American... Um, snake print pants, size 4 or 27, good legs. I don't think I've ever found Good American, but these look like they're really good shape. They're kind of like skinny, skinny jeans, but I'll double check on those before I get them. Next is a pair of J. Crew again, slacks. I think they might be linen in like a leopard print. A mystery but they are really lightweight and nice okay let's look at a few bags and some shoes we got a pair of leather Duluth trading company knee-high boots in brown I did find the black ones as well but it was missing one of the buttons on the back so I put it back uh, a pair of fry leather boots with this like biker kind of style. What size are these? These are size. We can do it, we can do it. Seven and a half. Got a lot of boots. Oh, next a pair of really fun Sorrells. Metallic-y. This looks like it's not super destroyed, a little faux fur. I'm not sure the size on those, but those are really fun. 
next we have a pair of boots. We have a pair of picolinos. Nice rich brown leather color. Mm, not sure the size on that, but those are really nice. Another pair of picolinos, booty style. With an ankle strap, like a faux one. A pair of cowboy boots. These are, these are on, these need to go some skinny man or lady because these legs are really tiny. Tony Llamas with a skinny calf. Okay, next we have a pair of Born faux buckle boots. These are leather and they are size nine. Got those, got those. Got those. Okay, I think we just have three things left. Uh, we have a Brighton cute little, I don't even know what type of purse this would be called, um, but it has a little snap closure. I think it might, oh I see, it's magnetic, but like it's all jacked up. Because this magnet should be in here, and this magnet's missing. But it is a cute bag. I really like the hardware on it. Okay, and a pair of leopard print J. Crew heels made in Italy. These are size 8. Mm, they might be a little flaky. I'm gonna double check on those. They're like a patenty leather. And last is, I'm not sure if this is vintage, but it is an American Eagle messenger flap bag. And I think it has leather accents. These are leather, I'm pretty sure. But I'll double check on those. A canvas brown messenger bag. Those can do really well, so I will see. All right, we finished up with location number two. Um, I'm not sure. I think we got over 25 pounds, but I don't think we got as much as yesterday. Because yesterday we got 40 pounds. But if you could give this video a thumbs up, look at my nice glove, give this video a thumbs up. It really helps the algorithms on YouTube. I think you know that though. And I will be posting all of my finds on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari when I wind up back home, whenever that is. So stay tuned for that. And the stuff that my sister is keeping will be posted in her eBay store. And that is listed down below in the description as well. All right, I will be off to another bins location soon, so stay tuned for that, and I'll see you later. Bye!